Now we'll give you some NBA handicappers. And welcome to the desk where the two premier NBA handicappers True. on this network True. sit. That would be myself and Donnie Wrightside. Happy to have the coach's expertise as well. A central focus in Indianapolis tonight between the Pacers and the Cavaliers. Seven-point number in favor of Indiana. And the over-under, only 226.5, J.Y., for a team in the Pacers that loves to pay, play with pace. Yeah, and I think it's about the pace of play. I think what you're going to see is you're going to see a team in Cleveland that's going to have to slow this game down. Yeah. Uh, they have no way of winning this game if, if this game gets exploded and starts to go up and down. I still like the Pacers minus support because, folks, when I look at this, I'm so locked in to when you look at particularly the East, you know, from seeds four to eight. Yeah. With 27 to 30 losses, this becomes a huge game for, for Indiana. I think it means more to them than Cleveland. I do like Indiana minus the points. Let's go quickly to Philadelphia. The Miami Heat, Philadelphia 76ers. If I'm looking at a lot, look, there's no trap lines technically here because they're not picking out of a hat. Ooh, let's trick the public. The Sixers are a favorite over against the Heat. Minus two and a half with a total of 209 and a half. Is this just strictly based on a back-to-back night here? Because what I'm looking at from the Sixers is, yeah, Maxie's back, but also Butler looks like he could be back in the lineup tonight for the Miami Heat. How are the Sixers favored over the Heat tonight? It's, it's probably the back-to-back. But to me, when you, when you look at this matchup tonight, you know, this is a Miami Heat team that if they get Jimmy Butler back, yeah. they should be the better team here because a Philadelphia team – that's literally just trying to limp their way into the playoffs or to when JoJo gets back. And I think this is a big spot here because if you look at the, just the standings, just today, if Cleveland were to go ahead yeah. and beat Indiana, that team that wins moves into the sixth yeah. spot. I know Donnie has this feeling about resting guys. Yes. Uh, not me. I need to be in that top six because it, now it's not a best out of five or best yeah. out of seven like it is in the NBA or best out of seven now all the time in the NBA playoffs. It's one game. Or it's two bad games and you're out. I think getting to that sixth seed means so much more in the NBA than people think. Total at 209 for that matchup. Philadelphia under in five straight. The Sixers were a double-digit favorite against Charlotte. They covered. They're a short favorite tonight against Miami, but in 13 of 19 previous, an underdog just five and eight, both straight up and against the spread. Now we go out to San Francisco. The Warriors playing host tonight to the New York Knicks. Five and a half point number in favor of Golden State. Total at 211 and a hook. JY, what's the breakdown for this matchup between the Dubs and the Knickerbockers? Well, if you look at the game that the Golden State won 110 to 99 a couple of weeks ago, the Knicks team was banged up. Obviously, Jalen Brunson had just got back from injury. But to me, the Knicks, as much as you talk about missing uh, Julius Randle or, or missing Mitchell Robson, yeah. it's amazing what OG Ananobi has meant to this team. Defensively and stretching the four is a stretch four. I think the Knicks are so much better two-on-one against the spread since OG's been back. I like the Knicks plus the points in a really good game versus Golden State. When you look at New York with OG and an OB in the lineup, they have been sensational covering numbers. As you said, JY, not only are they 2-1 and one, uh, against the numbers since he's been back, 3-0 and oh, straight up, 15-2 and two with OG and an OB in the lineup. I believe we have one more NBA game. We got mm. two more. All right, Lakers-Hawks, second leg of a back-to-back for Atlanta in L.A. They pulled off an upset last night over the Clippers and Boston and Detroit. The Pistons have covered in five of the last seven. We got 20 seconds, JY. Give us a pick from one of these two games. Take the two favorites, Lakers. And it's a lot of points for the Celtics. 16's a ton. Maybe take the uh, Celtics. AD back? Half. AD back tonight? Poked in the eye? I don't know. The guy may be hurt for another three weeks. <laughs> that. 53 and 14, Boston. 30 and 3 at home inside TD Garden. JY, thank you. A best bet next.